right? So uh, we had a question. No, okay. Um, then um, we got a couple minutes here. How does language then create universals according to Hobbes? I know it's complicated, but anybody have a can, can recall it to us? Yes. A little bit louder. Great. Okay. So a common name contains, contains a, a, a whole category of things. Great. Um, and then, how does language allow us to create uh, to to relate cause and effect? Somebody sum that up. I mean, it's complicated, but if anybody wants to take a shot at that. Relating the, the, the properties of each particular category to one another. What, the, what particulars of each category? Relating what? The particulars of each, the particulars of each category to one another. Relating the particulars of each category to one another. Okay, that's good. So in, in a sense, but, but what, what's important is that the, the, the specific instances are also linked up to, uh, to the general case. Right, so there's two movements. There's there's linking the specific instance to a general case, and then linking the the two general cases to each other. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you hearing me? Okay, in the back. There's no problem. Oh, there's a little bit of a problem. Um, so maybe next time I'll try and use the the microphone. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll use the microphone next time. Okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. So thank you. Um, Take a look at the craft of research. We're going to be looking at the craft of research next time, um, but also the Hobbes again. We're going to kind of delve a little deeper into the same arguments we talked about today.